Hello everyone, welcome back. In this session, let us have a discussion about the motion in two dimension. So, in previous sessions, we have discussed about the motion in a one dimension. That is a vertically projected body. That means if you are projecting a body with an angle 90 degrees vertically upward, then we have seen some and we have discussed some physical quantities like time of ascent, time of descent, maximum height and time of flight. So for this two dimensional motion, see actually it is called as a projectile of a body. See, this is a projection, vertical projection, but here, other than 90 degrees, other than 90 degrees, if you are projecting a body, that projection is called as a projectile and the path made by the projectile is called as a trajectory. See here, while projecting a body, uh, here we will consider the body will uh, go in some parabolic path, so there we have to consider along x axis and along y axis also if you consider some examples see a person is firing from the gun so the bullet which exerts out from the gun will possess this projectile and a body which is or a javelin throw a javelin throw possess this projectile so to mention the motion of the javelin or a bullet which is fired from the gun we need two coordinates like x coordinate and y coordinate so as it is a two dimension motion we have to specify along x axis and we have to say along y axis also and here this x axis and y axis are independent of each other See, while talking about x-axis, that x-axis won't depend on y-axis and y-axis won't depend on x-axis. And here, while talking about this projectile, we consider air resistance acting on the body is negligible. Of course, air resistance will act on the body, but the air resistance acting on the body is negligible. And we consider that the radius of curvature of the earth due to the effect due to this radius of curvature is also negligible and the rotation of the earth see due to the rotation of the earth there may be some variation in this projectile motion but we consider this rotation of the earth also as negligible and now coming to this projectile see these projections are of uh, three types we will talk this as uh, projection or a projectile motion projectile this projectile is uh, one is oblique projection and second one is uh, horizontal projection and finally projection on an inclined plane or projectile sorry projectile on an inclined inclined plane so these are the three different uh, projectiles first we will uh, discuss about this oblique projectile coming to this oblique projectile if you are projecting a body other than 90 degrees to, uh, to the horizontal then we consider the projectile as oblique projectile so first let us see this uh, oblique projectile and coming to this oblique projectile we will consider x axis and y axis see here we are projecting a body uh, and that projectile is making some angle theta with the horizontal. So, uh, the projectile is moving with some uh, velocity u. And whatever the projectile we are projecting, that will uh, make a parabolic path. 
So this is a parabolic path. So let us consider at one point, at second point P, uh, let us uh, find the displacement made by the body. So at this point, and what would be the velocity of the body along x-axis and along y-axis? So if you consider the velocity of the body along y-axis or sorry x-axis, that is. Yes, as it is projected with uh, some velocity u, so u cos theta is the velocity along x-axis. See, this is the angle theta. So the horizon, the vector which is touching theta is cos theta, and uh, this y-axis is not touching cos theta. Sorry, this y-axis is not touching theta. So this will be u sine theta along y-axis. That is. Uh, u sin theta that means along u u x is u cos theta and in the same way u y equal to u sin theta and here one more thing is see this is having a some velocity v this is the direction of velocity and this will be we have to divide it into two components along x coordinate that is v x and along y coordinate that is v y and coming to the acceleration of the body the acceleration along x axis is zero see there is no acceleration for the body along x axis that means the body is moving with uniform velocity the body is moving with uniform velocity and along x coordinate and if you consider the y coordinate that is See the gravity will act vertically downward, so a y equal to minus g. Now let us uh, consider along x-axis and along y-axis, along x-axis and along y-axis. So if you consider here along x-axis. As the acceleration is zero, uh, first to compare with s equal to u t plus half a t square. So if you compare that, as the acceleration is zero, this whole term will become zero. So you will have only s equal to u t, and this x is uh, s displacement along x axis. S equal to u t. So here s is nothing but along x axis, no? So x equal to Along x-axis, u x into t. So x equal to u x is nothing but u cos theta into t, or t equal to x by u cos theta. So now let us solve for along y-axis also. Along y-axis, see uh, y-axis now. So y equal to u y t minus half. G t square. As the acceleration due to gravity is uh, minus g, or else uh, let us let me write this as uh, uh, plus half a y t square. U t plus half a t square. So u y is nothing but u sine theta, no? So u sine theta and t we got here t as x by u cos theta. X by into x by u cos theta plus uh, let let it write as minus as a y equal to minus c minus half g into c t square. What is t? X by u cos theta. So we can write it as x square by u square cos square theta. Now. If you see here, this u and u will get cancelled. Sine by cos is tan. So x tan theta minus half g into x square by u square cos square theta. See if you observe this equation. This equation in the is in the form of some y equal to a x minus 
bx square. So that means uh, this equation shows that the path of the projectile is parabolic path. This equation belongs to a, a parabolic path. See here, a some variable a tan theta and x minus uh, c. This can be considered as b and x square. So this is in the form of y equal to ax minus bx square. So by this we can say that the path of the projectile is parabolic path. Now let us uh, find out the time of ascent for this projectile. Time of ascent. Time of ascent ta. See we know that from the first equation v equal to u plus at. Here time of ascent we are saying now. So consider along y axis and here for the time of ascent the final velocity is 0. So 0 equal to ui plus ay ta as this is time of ascent. So what is ui? u sin theta minus a is nothing but a y is nothing but g no minus c into t a or this can be written as u sin theta equal to g t a or t a equal to u sin theta by g. So this is the time of ascent. Now in the same way let us find time of descent also. Time of descent. So the time of descent again take it be equal to u plus a t. Here final velocity is not 0. So uh, consider this as v y equal to here initial velocity is 0. So u 0 minus a in the sense a y so minus g t d or v y means u sin theta u sin theta is equal to minus g t d or now t d equal to u sin theta by g so this is a time of descent see we got time of ascent as u sin theta by g and time of descent as u sin theta by g so we can say that time of ascent is equal to time of descent now in the same way if you consider time of flight time of flight time of flight capital T so simply you can say the sum of time of ascent and time of descent is time of flight or uh, if you want you can say uh, you can take one equation what is that s equal to ut plus half at square along y axis so along y axis means this is ui capital T my uh, of course plus half ay t square see this uh, displacement is uh, zero see if you consider here or here the displacement is uh, zero the, while uh, projectile projecting a body and while the projectile reaches the uh, horizontal s is zero so uh, this zero equal to what is u i u sin theta t minus half g into t square so this can be written as u sin theta t equal to half g t square. So uh, t square and t will cancel one time. So we will get t equal to u uh, 2 multiply this 2 here cross multiplication. So you will get 2u sin theta by g that means time of descent is uh, Time of ascent is u sin theta by g 
टाइम ऑफ डिसेंट इज यू साइन थेटा बाय जी एंड टाइम ऑफ लाइट टी इक्वल टू टू यू साइन थेटा बाय जी और यू कैन सबमिट यू विल गेट टू यू साइन थेटा बाय जी द सम ऑफ टाइम ऑफ एसेंट एंड टाइम ऑफ डिसेंट नाउ maximum height maximum height maximum height h max see for this you consider v square minus u square equal to 2as so at the maximum height see this is maximum height no this is the maximum height So at maximum height, v square final velocity is zero, and initial velocity along y-axis, and that means u y square equal to two ay, and s is nothing but h. So u y square means u sin theta or u square sin square theta. So that equal to minus two g h or h max. Write it as h max. Now h max equal to h max equal to u square sine square theta by two g. So at maximum height h max equal to u square sine square theta by two g. And now in the same way range. Range also we have to find. See, range, range is nothing but the horizontal range. That means here we are projecting a body now, and the body is touching the horizontal here. This from here to here, this is called as range. So range, uh, to how to find the range? Range is nothing but the horizontal distance. so velocity equal to we know that velocity equal to displacement by time so here velocity is along horizontal that means ux ux equal to here displacement is nothing but the range by time is nothing but total time time of flight so U x is nothing but u cos theta, so u cos theta equal to r by what is time of flight? Two u sine theta by g. R range r equal to two u sine theta by g into u cos theta. U cos theta. So here we will have like this: two u square c sine theta. See, let us do like this: u into u u square and two sine theta cos theta. Two sine theta into cos theta by g, so that equal to u square into two sine theta cos theta can be written as sine two theta by g. So the range r equal to u square sine two theta by g. This is range, and in this we have discussed about the oblique projection. In oblique projection, we have seen. Uh, the path of the projectile is parabolic path and we have uh, seen uh, time of ascent time of descent time of flight and maximum height and range range also we have seen here for the oblique projection